Hey guys, I did not realize we were like the last match. So, uh, round seven's already started. That's a pretty good hand. Uh, I played this person before. The last time I played them, they weren't on Storm, but I guess they just do multiple decks. Depths. Woodge. I think they were on Depths last time I played them. What's Woodge? About humans. Um. So, hmm. This is a hand that could actually theoretically beat Storm with an aggressive confinement against. Uh, none of those are like recent enough to be sure what they're on. Um, I think you have to keep this. Like, you got the turn one XL, you got uh, Enchantress. The invocation could be a threat, but we'd have to draw. I guess it's steps. We'd have to draw, so that's not good because uh, we only had the one Enchantress. So we do need to draw an abundant growth or ground seal in order for the invocation to be a thing. Grass is also alive and good with invocation. So that's good news in this matchup. Um, in that like you can just like copy it and like keep two around and that way like um, hmm. it tells us they have another discard spell probably. Right. Well I guess it doesn't matter. Doesn't really tell us. Yeah, I guess it does. That's a good draw. Another enchantress would be better though, I think. I don't think to get huh. Okay. Well, so there's so much discard. Do they just like have three discard and the uh, fucking uh, turn three? There's no way, right? There's no way. So we'll get the trot with the fetch presence. It's good we're not playing replenish no more. Make it a sick draw, but I guess it'll be a couple turns down the line. Well, hopefully they don't have like I mean that'd be a sick hand three discard and turn three kill. Actually, wait, we don't need to crack the fetch right because of Urborg. Nice. We can actually just drop the sanctum because oh my god, they got the turn three kill. Look at wish grass. Nothing. Um. Maybe they will forget. Let us taunt him. He may become so confused they will make a mistake. Um, okay, so, triple th duress, uh, slow start, and uh, turn three kill. Pretty good uh, combination of things in their favor. Um, so Knight of Autumn, again, comes in, do make him come out. Um, I think that's probably fine. Like, I think everything else is okay. Uh, like the other rings are like questionable. This is nice. This is old, so it doesn't really tell us. Like, the SG is kind of falling out of favor, but this is almost three months old. Um, it could be on ESG. I mean, it's something to keep in mind. Lotus pedal. Generally, like most of them have like shifted towards like medium or slow depths with like Bob. And uh, cutting the like acceleration. Uh, I don't know. I think I don't know which is better for us. Like Doom Egg is obviously a lot better against like the Bob versions. Um, like Ground Seal obviously doesn't do too much, but it's like cheaper than Doom Wake. 
I guess I could bring in Corsair. I'm never gonna like wish for Corsair over like Wasteland and Caracas, but the life gain could be relevant. And like the glacial chasm, right? I think we said that last time. Um, I think I do want Mary's Gal against them because like some of their hands are rather reliant on discard. Um, Maybe Adelon. I don't really want to like cut the Enchantress effects, but I guess like Zenith is live in a lot of ways. I mean, would I rather have Corsair or Adelon though? Maybe Corsair, like because it's faster in the life gain, like can become a time walk, which turns Orin on and gives you another chance to like find one of your many relevant cards. I mean, Eidolon does too, but she's expensive. I don't know, maybe Glacial Chasm isn't good enough to replace Adelon. Mayhaps. I don't use Glacial Chasm today, but I don't know how many like real aggro decks we've played. Not really any, I guess. That's pretty good. Turn 2 Corsair is not bad. Living Wish is strong. I think we'll go for the Corsair first, because, like, well, I already got blue. Let's turn on white. I don't know. I mean, like, casting the wish. I mean, they probably have a turn one discard spell. They've got, like, eight of them. I mean, obviously that can't hit Corsair, so it's going after the Wish. But what I was going to say is, like, I am slightly worried, I guess, about, like, Surgical on the Wish. Could be brutal. That's, like, the worst thing that could be on top, because it's not... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We couldn't play land anyway. But... We would like to draw an Enchantress, or a Wish, or something. Interesting. Okay. Maybe I should play the trap, but all right. Well, obviously I can't attack, <coughs> so um, make your guy. Hope you don't have an edict. So we got to turn to find an answer. were insane, and ours were not. Well, it's quick anyway. That's all right. Uh, you know, that happens. It, uh, like I was saying, like uh, depths can like just win out of nowhere. They don't have any draw engine, but like, you know, they've got a lethal combination of cards. 
and their answers are rather versatile. So, uh, you know, if you draw like triple duress, turn three kill, or like uh, duress, turn two kill, shrug, I guess you got it. All right, we will. Um, I'm assuming I'll see you in the top eight. I don't really understand how breakers work, but I assume we're guaranteed.